Hey guys, it's Destiny, and with the upcoming release of Fushuin, I'll be going over Fushuin's light cone and how valuable it is for her as a character, alternative light cones as well, and my overall verdict for the light cone banner. If you enjoy videos like these, make sure to subscribe, and without further ado, let's get straight into it. For a quick overview of what the light cone she already shut her eyes, this light cone is able to increase the wearer's HP by 24% and energy regeneration rate by 12%. When the wearer's HP is decreased, all allies damage dealt will increase by 9% for a few turns. And lastly, at the start of each wave, health will be restored to equal to an amount of their HP loss. Overall, this light cone definitely has pretty nice benefits just right off the bat from what we can see, as it gives a really good HP increase from more sustainability. The energy regeneration rate also allows for basically a mini little energy regeneration rope to be on a preservation class character without having to get an energy regeneration rope onto them. So the 12% is very handy and being able to increase the damage allies deal as well as restore their health passively is pretty freaking awesome and makes this Lycon pretty stacked on what passives and abilities it has. But now that we've gone over a just a mini overview of what the Lycon provides, let's go over the value it has for Fushun and also what alternatives can exist. When it comes to Fushun, based on what we know about her officially, this light cone would be very, very useful for her as it'll allow her to improve her sustainability as the sustain on the team. The energy regeneration provided from the light cone is quite useful since it can help with her being able to use her super cool ultimate more often. I love seeing this on the screen, so I'll definitely enjoy seeing it more. And one of her traces allows for healing when she uses her ultimate. Because of this, this will allow for more consistent healing for the team as well, which allows Fushuin to be more consistent in her sustaining abilities for the team through her damage mitigation, spreading the damage taken to herself, and now also the possibility of more consistent healing, which makes this light Icon pretty useful and feels very fitting on Fushuin to take full advantage of what she offers for teams. Another thing I wanted to mention is due to the fact that she's able to increase the damage allies deal for a few turns when the wearer's HP is decreased, Due to Fushuin's skill kit and the fact that she's able to take damage or partial damage from the damage an ally takes, this means that the uptime of how much damage the team will deal through the light cone should be basically at 100% or near 100%, assuming that you're able to consistently take advantage of her skill kit. So overall, it just feels once again, very fitting for her. But if we were to look at alternatives, the main alternative I would recommend based on what we know about Fushuin is Texture of Memories from the Herta Light Cone Shop as this light cone allows the wearer to have additional effect resistance, and if they are attacked and don't have a shield, a shield will be created by a percentage of their max HP. As we know, Fushuin is not able to create shields, so she will be able to get the shield based on her max HP. This can be pretty good as a way for her to have increased sustainability, and of course, if you do have that shield active, damage taken will be further decreased. This light cone is honestly a pretty good, nice free-to-play option as it allows for good survivability, I would assume, for Fushuin herself. However, it does not provide the same benefits as her signature light cone, which is the energy regeneration, the additional passive healing for the team, and so on. Other options can be two of the three star light cones for their passives for restoring health, either for weakness breaking an enemy or using their ultimate. But I would honestly still recommend the Hertz light cone over a three star light cone due to the stats provided with the Hertz light cone as it is a five star light cone and also the passive abilities for Ushuan's sustainability as a whole. Now though, let's go over the value of the light cone for other characters and my final verdict on the light cone as well as the banner itself. When it comes to other characters using this light cone, most of our preservation class characters would likely benefit from the Herta Shop light cone or Japard's light cone, and a few of the four star light cones in the game as well. But all the preservation class characters can benefit from the ability to have team wide healing, as now this allows for healing, and because most of our preservation class characters do create some form of a shield, now you technically have shields and heals in a sense. You also will have pretty good energy regeneration or just a way to get your ultimate faster with the light cone. 
and also the ability to increase the damage allies deal to enemies assuming that your preservation class character gets hit which most of the time our preservation class characters do get hit pretty often assuming that you use them with what their skill kit entails however if you do use this light cone on other characters you do give up the defense increase that most of the other preservation class light cones provide but the passives with Fushwin's light cone is just super super strong and due to the light cone being a five star light cone it has pretty good stats even for the defense stat even when the light cone heavily focuses on hp this could be pretty good for a lot of sustaining characters being able to live just fine in battle and also being able to keep the team alive with what they provide when it comes to if you honestly should pull this light cone i would highly suggest it as it's a pretty stacked light cone and it has really good supportive capabilities with its powerful passives as mentioned before and other characters can still technically take advantage of the light cone due to those passives but especially Fushun, I feel like it just feels like this light cone will honestly be a perfect fit for her. I do still believe texture and memories as an alternative will be good, but I do think her light cone has a very good advantage in what it gives, especially for a character with her kit to possibly allow for smoother rotations depending on the frequency she wants to use her ultimate with the energy regeneration, also the healing, and so on. I thought I'd also quickly mention the value of the other light cones as well on her banner, which is perfect timing under the blue sky and tread of the universal market. All of these four star light cones are pretty decent for the most part, but I wouldn't say they're anything exceptional when it comes to the value they provide in comparison to the five star light cone. Under the blue sky is good for an attack increase and crit increase when defeating enemies. Tread of the universal market is good for more defense and also inflicting fire damage over time on enemies. And perfect timing is is good for characters with effect resistance and also allowing for more outgoing healing as well. So overall, when it comes to Light Cone Banner, if you do plan to pull for Fushun, I would definitely consider this Light Cone. Just keep in mind that the four star Light Cones aren't the greatest in my personal opinion, but I would also keep in mind, let's say there's a future character you're planning to pull for, or you're possibly interested in even Jinglu and Topaz. Based on the drip marketing we have seen, it's highly speculated that they will be in 1.4, I personally think they will just based off the pattern we have when it comes to showing off characters with drip marketing. So let's say you wanted to possibly get a signature light cone for Jinglu or Topaz. We don't know what they do, but I would assume they're pretty fitting for them as well with the pattern we've seen with signature light cones and characters. So if you plan to pull for them, maybe pulling their light cone may be more beneficial for your account. If you do decide, okay, I'm just going to pull Fushun, I'm not going to get the light cone. And of course, I would just recommend using the Herta Shop light cone as your alternative, but Fushun's light cone is definitely awesome if you were considering it. I hope you guys though did enjoy my video on Fushun's light cone, just a review of it and what I think of its value. If you guys enjoyed the video and also like Fushun, consider leaving a like to support the video and also subscribe to see more Sarl content from me. Like always, I hope you all have an awesome day. Peace.